This video will demonstrate how to knit Kitchener Stitch. Kitchener Stitch, which is also known as grafting, is a method of joining the live stitches of two separate pieces of knitting so that there's no visible seam. It just looks like the whole thing is knitted. This is a great joining method for things like sock toes, for example, but there are lots of times when Kitchener Stitch is a great idea, so it's an important skill to have. Now typically Kitchener Stitch is done by sewing. You thread your yarn tail through a tapestry needle and sew it in and out of the live stitches in such a way as to imitate knitting. And you can find instructional videos and pages on how to sew Kitchener Stitch all over the internet. But many knitters seem to hate doing this. Um, probably a little bit because it's complicated. I've seen a lot of knitters complain about how they can never remember which way the needle's supposed to go through which stitch and when. But also it might be because um, sewing Kitchener Stitch is sewing and a lot of knitters don't necessarily like sewing. They prefer to knit. That's why they're knitters. I myself find sewing a graft pretty tedious. So in order to make it a little more interesting and easier to remember, I figured out how to knit Kitchener Stitch and now I'm going to show you how. So now we want to work the knitted Kitchener Stitch. So we've got to uh, get everything ready for it. And the way we do that is extremely similar to the way you get ready to do the sewn Kitchener Stitch, which is to put the live stitches from one of the pieces that you're going to be joining together on one needle, and the live stitches on the other piece that you're joining together on another needle. Now, with the sewn Kitchener stitch, the next step after that, of course, is to thread your working yarn tail through a tapestry needle. But we're not sewing the Kitchener stitch, of course. We are knitting the Kitchener stitch, and that means that we need a third needle. So actually getting ready for knitted Kitchener stitch is exactly the same as you would do to get ready for a three-needle bind-off, except, of course, what you do for a knitted Kitchener stitch is totally different from what you do for a three-needle bind-off. So, as you can see, we have our two needles with live stitches on them. This is the top needle, this is the bottom needle, and we have our working needle, which will be doing the actual knitting. And we have the two pieces that we're joining together. As you can see, they're both white. And the working yarn that I will be doing using to do the graft is dark pink. Normally, of course, you would typically want your working yarn to be exactly the same yarn as you use to knit the two pieces that you're joining, but for the purposes of demonstrating how this works to you, uh, what the working yarn is doing, where it's going, what it looks like when it's done, um, I'm using a contrasting color. So, knitting a Kitchener stitch involves four steps which you repeat and repeat and repeat until you are finished grafting all your stitches. But before you can start repeating these four steps, you have to set things up. And the setup process is two steps. The first of these two setup steps is to take your working yarn and knit the first stitch on the bottom needle Pull the yarn through and leave the stitch on the needle. Step two of the setup process is to, and I believe this is the tail, yeah, let's get that out of the way, is to purl the first stitch of the top needle, purl and pull the yarn through, and again leave the stitch on the needle. So that is your setup process. Now you're ready to start the four steps. Step one, purl the next stitch of the bottom needle, pull the yarn through, and slide the stitch off the needle. Step two, knit the next stitch on the bottom needle, and again, not using the tail, but using the working yarn. Knit the next stitch on the bottom needle, pull the yarn through, 
and keep the stitch on the needle. Step three, knit the next stitch on the top needle, pull the yarn through, and take the stitch off the needle. Step four, purl the next stitch on the top needle, pull the yarn through, and keep the yarn, the stitch on the needle. So those are our four steps. Purl on the bottom, slide the stitch off. Knit on the bottom, keep the stitch on. Knit on the top, slide the stitch off, and purl on the top and keep the stitch on. I'll do it again. Step one, purl. Slide off. Knit. Keep on. Knit. Slide off. Purl. Keep on. So those are your four steps. And if we look at what we've been doing so far, We'll need to sort of tug a little bit to make everything. You can see that we now have the dark pink creating, a, sort of as it goes in and out, it looks exactly like knitting. And it's joining what used to be live stitches on the top with what used to be live stitches on the bottom. And you can see we've got stitch here, stitch here, and half a stitch there. And so we're just going to keep doing the four stitches right along, and then I will show you how to end it off. Okay, as you can see, I've now knitted the graft for most of the stitches. I've just got three stitches left on each needle, and I'm continuing to work through the steps. Step one. Step three. And step. Now the thing to know, as you get very, very close to finishing it off, is that you don't actually finish with a step four you're actually supposed to finish with the step one. So what you do is you just keep doing the steps until you have just one stitch left on each needle. So this is my last complete cycle through the four steps. Step two. and step four. Okay, so we can see how that's looking. Just give it another tug. So I've got one stitch left on each needle, and I've just finished a step four. So now the only thing left to do is a stitch, a step one, and we're done. So step one, of course, is purl the next stitch on the bottom needle and slide the stitch off, which means there's nothing left to do on this top stitch since we're not going on to do any more steps three or four. So you can just take the stitch right out and not worry about it again. So the only thing we have left to do is that purl through the next stitch on the bottom and slide it off. And you have a beautifully grafted piece without any sewing. <laughs>